The only issue people currently that's what, have that's is... That's why I'm here. I said something about Okay, but Jay, your approach, your approach is no, so no. wrong. Listen to the not message, real. not the messenger. You're, okay, bro, your approach Listen is... Listen to the message, not the but messenger. But nah, 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 nah. Toxic talk, toxic talk, toxic talk. I don't even know what this episode should be, be a toxic talk or a let's be honest, but hey, we're here. Don't know Jay Frey there. We have Ton Travels. You know what I mean? I say, and yo, they might beat me. They might beat me. Them some say some things where, yo, I say stop the violence. They must say, no, stop the violence against women and kids. You know what I say? Okay, that is and not wait, what me, anybody said. I could do the intro, please. I could do the intro. I could do the intro. Excuse me. Um, so if people don't know, like, share, subscribe if you're new here. Um, before we get into this debate or whatever, I will say this. I am willing to change my mind or to change my stance. If it makes sense, I am willing to apologize if needed. <laughs> All I'm asking is for you to listen. Not it's you hear. gaslighting us from the beginning for me. <laughs> like it's really the, the like hidden gaslight that you're throwing this is hilarious. I was like, yes, lady. Because I don't think you're actually willing to change your perspective. And I don't even think you've listened because no one's asking you to change your perspective. Everyone is saying that you're right. We're just saying now is not the time to speak on it. If you have an issue with what you're All saying, right. you have an well, issue with, let's I, talk I'm about willing, that. I'm willing to, to change the no. Okay. Okay. We'll see. Well, as I'm saying, people just throw around gaslighting and whatever. Oh, but yeah. <laughs> and just all my access, let's keep this respectable and <laughs> accept facts. Okay. Let's talk facts. You're speaking about women in general and speaking about men in gen general. Okay, let's if talk If I have facts. something to say personally, I will say personally. Oh my goodness. Oh but my God. Go. I'm not going to say. Okay. But let's go. What is your... Let me add the video. Can I start? Can I start? Yeah, sure, sure. But let me add the video. Okay. So people out there can see. What well, exactly what he said. Yo, why don't you stop the violence against women and kids? Why don't I promote? Why don't I say man's supposed to dead? Because it's like when a man did nothing naga change, right? If naga have a son or a daughter we miss him, naga have a wife or a girlfriend we miss him, that's not a mother burying her son, right? Why do you two police officers did not line up duty? I mean not hear no outrage from the country. Right? Stop the violence. It's not the stop the violence against dog or pussy. Stop the violence, period. Jamaica is a small country and we are average at thousand murders. You feel like say if the violence just stop against women and kids, the violence naga continue. I want to promote that. I want to say a bad man can kill a thousand man. But once him kill one woman or one pit me, this one draw the line, brother. No, bro. When a man dead, people feel it. Even if they mix up in a badness or whatever, the funeral is still full because people they love them. I could try to change the culture and to stop the violence. Period, bro. Small, small, small country. They find the, the, the world's highest murder rate every single year. I don't feel like a woman and pit me on a problem. Think. All right, the video added. Let's go. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk. Jay. Is not wrong. Men's lives are equally men's lives, females' lives, kids' lives. No one is saying any is more important or less important than another. We're simply saying, why do you feel the need to? First of all, you're generalizing violence is my first issue. You're generalizing violence. You're speaking on police officers being killed in the line of fire. You're speaking on gun. I'm assuming gun violence, right? And statistics wise, of course, more men are dying based on that. But that is not what people are currently addressing. And you made direct reference to the fact that people are currently outraged about women being killed, which is gender based violence, and then generalized it as if people are taking attention away from men being killed. That is not the case. We are simply saying, okay, cool. You have a problem with general crime in Jamaica. You have a problem with gun violence, corrupt police officers, whatever the issue is. Talk about that every day. Because that's an everyday serious. That's a, the everyday issue. Why do you have a problem with people bringing attention to what is currently happening? Why are you trying to draw away from that? Why not? Why It, it feels like you're being a pick me bitch. It feels like you're like, okay, why, why women I guess attention? Like, like Men are dying too. Okay, cool. Talk about that every single day. Why are you upset now that they're talking about women? That's the only thing people are upset about. Why are why do you feel the need to draw away from the gender-based violence issue that is being highlighted in the media because of a recent incident to talk about a general issue that has been happening for years? If you have issues in it, talk about it. Speak on it. 100% because you're right. Gun violence is out of hand. Police brutality out of hand. But why are you using the fact that we're talking about women and children right now to bring attention to that? Why are you drawing away from that? What's the reason? What's that? Why is that necessary? That's a question to me? Yes. Okay, all right. Number one, the video I made, I said stop the violence for everything. How did you right? start off the video, Jay? I said word for word. What did you say? I Do you don't remember? remember. Okay, you said you literally said. So 
when you guys say stop the violence against women and men, are you saying a woman and children? Are you saying men for dead? How you reach there? All right, that's that's the first thing. Right, How so, you reach right, there? Number one, it, 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 is it not a fact that men lives are not considered are not taken serious as women and kids? I don't agree. Where where what's the what's backing that up? Why do you I mean? I that? literally just explained and said in the said video that two police officers die. And the outrage wasn't equal to what's currently happening in the media when it comes to women and female and women and kids, correct? About, about yeah. Okay, that is because naturally, obviously, it is expect. I'm not gonna say expected because I don't think that's right. I don't think it's fair for you to compare the intensity of outrage of the two situations because they're very different. One, these are police officers who society expects. We're not saying that their lives aren't equally as thing. Mm. It's just not necessarily going to be as shocking to society when a police when police officers end up dead because that's that's their work. They work in violence, right? So I'm not saying you're wrong. Right, it does deserve outrage. I can tell you though, in any country where policemen can die and you think it's normal, that's not the country you want to live. I agree. If it's one, if it's if it's two set of people should not die in our country is police and politicians. Uh, so wait, I, I, wait, I am, I'm, can we pause? Wait, wait why? It's just, if I, if a police can dead, anybody can dead in that country. Okay. Okay. So and the again, fuck say, so, so the fuck say you think say, yo, because a police in the line of duty no, or whatever. I, that is what I'm not get, I feel like that's what you're not understanding. I am not saying that you are wrong. I, I, I am simply saying that. you cannot compare the outrage of the two scenarios because police officers die in line of fire right. more regularly than influencers are found at sea. Do you, you can't compare the Listen, intensities and, and, of the and, outrage. But my simple thing is this. At the end of the day, when was there ever... All right, is there an upsurge in, in, in women? An upsurge? Yeah. We're talking... Okay, and that's why... I, because you say like this is We're something new saying, that's going on. Is it something no, new? No, I'm not saying that this is new. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is the current issue at hand that people are outraged about happens to be gender-based violence, right? Why are you trying to draw away from that issue that everyone is trying to just bring attention to? Yes, it has been. So generalize that's what i'm not understanding because, why can't we just right, be talking so, about women and men and kids right now because it's not stopping violence that alone has stopped violence jamaica let, let, let's do stats now because you've been at that but whatever all right cut. cool stats jamaica is second highest in domestic violence i agree right yeah um, below El Salvador in 2017 mm -hmm. in the same 2017 jamaica is second to El Salvador in a Normal gun violence, right? Okay. So you don't see the correlation between the two? So once you stop one, the other one stop? Wait, wait. Okay, so you just said that we're second in domestic violence and we're second in gun violence. So you're saying if we stop one, the other will stop? Yeah. Okay, so then if we stop gender-based violence, which is the most, you know, most domestic cases are gender-based violence cases. Are you aware? That's, look like, that up. Can you explain what's gender-based? Okay, so gender-based violence is any form of violence, physical, mental, emotional, sexual violence that is directed to one gender or disproportionately weighted towards one gender, meaning either towards men or towards women, mm -hmm. right? In Jamaica, it happens to be females, right? Mm -hmm. But what you have to understand about gender-based violence is it, does, it is not simply murder. Gender-based violence statistics include things like verbal abuse, emotional abuse, physical abuse, domestic cases. I've never, that do I've, not I've never seen that stat before. I've never okay. seen nothing about emo, what, what, what equates to Go emotional abuse. I've, I've Googled it. I've looked. I've, I what haven't found it. What equates to <laughs> emotional never, abuse? So, so because me, you've never heard of that, that means again, emotional abuse doesn't... I never said it doesn't exist. There's so a ton I'm of telling abuse. You, there's I'm, economic so abuse. Google it. I'm simply saying there's no stats for emotional abuse is just physical. There are stats for gender-based violence. And yeah, I, but those don't include simply murder. I, I, I That's what understand. I'm saying. Exactly. So, but you never let me finish my point. All right, DJ, son. <laughs> I'm simply saying just most domestic cases are gender-based violence cases. It's usually, and they're usually weighted towards men. And you yourself just said that we're second. You yourself just said that we're second in comparison to Ecuador in, in cases of El domestic Salvador. violence. Uh, El Salvador, sorry. Mm -hmm. And if we stop one, we'll stop the other. Mm -hmm. So if we stop gender-based violence, it's likely to help Decreased violence in Jamaica, is it not? Not by a lot. It's who okay, we never said anything. No, no, no. You're, we're not saying a lot. Mm -hmm. We are saying, is it likely to help with the general issue that you have with violence in Jamaica? Because you just compared domestic violence and gun violence. And uh, like, I don't even know. I can't bring up stats because I don't know. But majority in my, I'm going to say in my opinion, because I don't want to put bad facts out there mm -hmm. or incorrect facts out there. Domestic abuse cases are usually gender-based violence. Well, all right. You see, 
I have to disagree with that. You okay. know why? Because gender based means say you only do it because the person is no, of that gender. No, it doesn't necessarily Google mean Google no, the term. I, I Google would, the term. I have the Just definition out here because I knew you were Google going to the say term. that. I'm going to read I, it. We can't find, we can't find I'm going to, I know it, the definition starts with that. That's what I'm going to tell you, All but right. it also Thank continues. You. Okay, gender-based violence can include, no, 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 see there, GBV. It's violence directed against a person because of his gender or violence that affects persons of a particular gender disproportionately. It does not have to be, I killed this woman because she is a woman. It can quite literally be the fact that That Jamaican women are seen as sexual objects. Mm -hmm. And so we are abused more. We Mm -hmm. are. Men do take advantage of women more because we are, we're easy targets. A lot of women are showing up dead or finding themselves in scenarios that they wouldn't be in if we didn't look at them the way that we look at in this culture. I'm not saying that people are being attacked because they're women. That Mm -hmm. is not what I'm saying. I am, however, saying that these examples, such as domestic violence, do usually fit within the gender-based violence forum and if you're saying that one correlates to the other then how does us talking about Based jamaican women mm-hmm. yes you're right i'm not again i have not said I'm, you're right I'm, I'm so what i'm saying is if you're saying one can affect the other how is us bringing attention to gender-based violence happening in jamaica right now towards women and kids negatively affecting the view on men i still don't understand that all right my only issue is why are you trying to compare them why are you trying uh, to say uh, una no, said this? Uh, no i was never i was saying that one is at a one is at a high for the longest and Jamaica has been Jamaica. All right, again, based off what Fitz Bailey and the RGR News, according to them, yeah, about a hundred and twenty-six women die a year. Okay, right, average really about cool. Mm-hmm. About thousand plus men die a year. Can I ask? My simple thing was simply this: I've never seen a campaign. This is me not seeing it. Where I talk about, yo, stop the violence. The money must stop the violence. So now, me, start one. now me, people might say, me or whatever, go look on my, my platform. Every year, I do a video, yo, stop the crime. Okay. Even when I have fine. Even it now affect me. I can't, I can't really say violence has ever affected a, a close family member or any time because I know people. And then the next thing too, in the comments, when I mention this thing about, yo, the people who are dead in a gang violence, there's no stats for that. I know multiple people were just dead because they live somewhere. Okay. Literally because they live somewhere. No. Domestic violence, all type of violence, wrong. You feel me? I agree. No. With domestic violence, what we need to understand is that people have conflict in their relationships. You feel me? So no that, that, that's why that's why I'm gonna like for use the gender based because when, when we hear gender based, we just hear, like say yo, more I do this because you're a man. But okay, let, let's and talk I about just that. But, that but is let's, not what it cool means. Cool man, what, what DJ was saying. So if a lesbian, if a lesbian couple have domestic violence, is that gender based? No, and that's why I said most domestic cases. I didn't say all. Okay, but but, but, but you know that in a lesbian relationship, you, domestic violence is at an all time high. Like it's higher than a heterosexual. It's person. as if you're trying. Okay, what I'm not. So is it justice for women or is it justice for women against men? The issue is that you feel like it has to be one or the other and they're not mutually I never exclusive. said that. I asked you a but question. every Can statement you, you make, and no, every statement you make is, why is it this and not this? As if we are not, we cannot do both. The only issue people currently that's what, have that's is- That's why I'm here. I said something about Okay, but Jay, your approach, your approach is nah, so wrong. Listen to the not message, not the messenger. Your, okay, bro, your approach listen is- Listen to the message, not the but messenger. No, 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 no. The message is correct. No one is saying that- but, don't stop violence against men. Violence in Jamaica in general isn't at an all-time high. Obviously, nobody's saying that. Why are you trying to draw attention away from what is current? Just, just make people like. Oh, you say you, what is currently happening when niggas die today? Like, oh go on. God. This is go oh on. God. This is that you, you see. Keep on a say it like say yo. It's every day a woman dead. So bro. why don't you do it every freaking day? Why are, are you so mad that right now person. people are talking about? Okay, well, you're, one right, person what, what, yes, what, yes, you're one person with a big platform. You're one person with a big platform. But do it a day when three men died. Did it a day when three men died. Yeah. So continuously keep doing it. I, Don't I'm get mad when you see people talking about I women and Horace kids. Strong. Women and kids can only talk about ourselves because you guys aren't defending us. Cap. So when we... Are you defending? That's Cap. Are you? Who do you really call, and truly? Who do you call we in really that and truly? Because I feel like the reason that women yeah. get so passionate when a woman dies or so passionate when a woman's body is shown or whatever happens is because we don't feel safe. 
And the only way we know to feel safe is when something like this happens, we go to the internet. Women chat more than men do. Men aren't, men don't feel, and I'm going to be honest, it's not necessarily your fault, but you guys don't feel comfortable coming forward and saying that you've been raped, that you've been sexually or emotionally abused. You don't. And that's not okay. Because that is a society issue. Let yeah. me finish. That is a society issue that we all have to work on. You're absolutely right. All I'm saying is, if an injustice happens to a female and females are outraged and want to be talking about it, why are you trying to draw attention away from that? Because I'm not drawing attention So just leave it alone. Say, yo, so, yo, a woman just died and we're all outraged. Let's also talk about the fact that women are dying. Say that. Do not say, oh, so that means that men for dead too? Or so, uh, when a man so shot that, it's not the same. It. Nobody said that. Nobody, that's, that, uh, nobody that's said so, that. Nobody suggested that. Nobody implied yeah, that. No, they do. They do. We, they oh, do. We implied, if I'm on, I, I have never implied that. I right, so suggest that you. I've so let me, never, so let me I talk. See, I can't talk about my comments. I haven't seen any I can't females. Talk, all right, let's talk about when me say, I'm, I can't talk about my comments. So, um, I say. All right, Number all right. one, if a man for dead right now, the first thing is, the old John, I'm going to mix up in a soap, you know? The, the, okay, when a woman dies, the first thing they say is, oh, what was she doing? She's wearing a skirt, short skirt. It goes both ways. Nobody says that. Nobody says that. Do you know the comments that are Currently going on about Slichiana, about her, how she dressed and this and that. Nobody. Oh my I, gosh, Jay. I, 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 I don't see. Managa so if I'm man, it's okay. What about DJ song now? All right, DJ song. DJ song. Listen to me a sec. And again, my mind of people, them only vexing me because I say, stop the violence. I won't even t- touch her all lives. That is not there. why everybody yeah, is vexed. It's like you not understand me, why, we, that's no, not why people vex. Yeah, I tell why you, me, no, talk to people. No, but people under my comments are telling me why them vex you. Nobody cares about. Remember DJ my song. Listen to me. At the end of the day, you keep on talking about what's happening right now. That's not what's happening right now, though. What's happening right now is that people are dying, bro. Cross the board, people are dead. So I'm simply I say, stop the violence. No, the intro to my video, I say, listen. So when I promote, say, man supposed to dead from me born till now. You'll hear a man say, what you know? Back in my days, woman and Pitney never used to dead. So man used to dead then. Nobody cares when man die, and it's fox, bro. I don't agree. It's, it's fox. All right, cool. I don't agree. Rest in peace to Dams and, and, and the youth name, Kamal. Bro, them niggas died. I ain't seen nothing going on for that shit. So do something. Say something. I've been saying something. Okay, so what all, I ain't seen no so protest. All we as just, females are... Okay, so you, is the female's responsibility? Let me DJ my song. No, let, right. It's the country. I'm saying stop the violence and everybody is mad, bro. That is not why Why is it a man? You're telling me about... Oh, oh, it, it, I walk one right now. No, walk one right now. Go on. This is a blast, bro. That, that page sick my stomach, bro. Because every single day there's multiple murders. Jamaica average four murders a day. And you're outraged. It is, is warranted. Nobody so is saying it's not. But stop message. saying that is Listen why people are message. mad. Because that is not why people are mad. So I'm enough to generalize when I, everybody are dead. When the general population is dying. We're not saying Come that on, the man. general population dying is not an issue. We are simply saying mm-hmm. your approach to drawing attention to that is insensitive to the fact that women that people women are people are simply outraged about a specific internet right now why does it bother you that people are talking about that um uh, you know why because it's hard to take that for to realize that jamaica have a violent that problem that is not what it took you it did it <laughs> did so you don't think when donnelly you don't think when donnelly disappeared when jasmine what is her name well, i don't remember last name jasmine did when she, mm-hmm. you know that wasn't outrage what was the other one the port more girl yo if i'll be honest you know if we really what was her i don't no, remember no, the, the, the other one, one the, her, the k one all right if and if we're being honest look upon all of those incidents you mentioned how much attention it get? A lot, right? A lot, right? Correct. You can't tell me not one innocent youth where you hear about and say, yo, remember them name. You cannot. So you're... I'm simply trying to say that women have <laughs> more benefit when it comes on to people having attention for them when is that crime is going on so basically everybody that's you all guys, I'm simply so saying you guys have so stop the violence because when I win up so I'm going to say you know, I'm very when my DJ my song you ask me I feel like question. your song has gone on for so long now and you just mm. say the same thing over and over and over again and it just sound bad man it almost sound like when a man jealous said men or women I get attention for the fact that they're dead that's what I'm hearing when you because talk. we're dying more Oh, what are you saying? Okay, because you're not. Okay, does what it not sound we're so at risk more? What? We're who, at who, risk is more. who is killing you? Who is killing you? Men. Men are. So address your own freaking issues. That doesn't make any sense. Bro, I'm saying no, stop the you violence. are getting so like. Uh, that doesn't. You're just. You're still not making no sense. I'm saying stop I the am, violence. I, and nobody is saying that you're so wrong. Men, we're just right. saying. 
So the why do you have to be? Why DJ. does it have to be? A, why does it have to yeah. be a competition? It's not. I'm saying. So stop why the does violence. your approach have to even mention the fact that people are upset about women dying? I'm stop the violence. So just say that. No, just say, just say that. No. Why? Just say that. But why do you need to make reference to the fact that women are getting attention? Um, That's like me saying I like I, pan, I like pan, I like pancakes. Yeah. Why, why are you eating pancakes? I like pancakes. Are you dumb? Literally. Jamaica needs to stop the violence. You see people advocating for a certain amount of violence. Let them advocate for that type of violence. You advocate for the violence that you are seeing and you want spoken up about because clearly no one is doing it. But your approach or your need to tear to have an issue with the fact that women are getting attention, it sounds disgusting. Oh, they have an issue. We're dying more. Shut the hell up. We know if you're here dying more and you're seeing it, clearly whoever is advocating for the woman is not seeing it. Advocate for it. Speak on it every single day, Jay. Talk on gun violence. Talk on because who is killing you? It's not us. The people advocating for women right now but, are but you, what? Humans are killing us. Humans oh killing us. No, it's okay. So then talk about humans. I, I don't know what I you, mean. It's like, it's it's like you entered the chat. It's not us. You entered the chat and you were like, team men, team, team men. No, like, bro. That's a, that's no. A, that's a, that's a gaslight fam. Okay, but you're going back and forth, Jay. You're literally what, what going you back saying? and forth. Is it on everyone? Is it on, is it on everyone is dying let's talk about everyone dying yeah. or is it a, why are you giving women more attention it's that everyone no. is dying stop okay, the violence so for, leave it there that is, what, that's that what is I my said. issue with you leave it so there so when did I when what, did I move because from there because you started your entire argument yeah. by attacking the fact that women are getting attention that is fucks. just not true fuck yo you but might not see question. it in the media I ask you a question give me, you, you give me mad I, names a while ago can I be very honest with you I don't keep up with I do not keep up with news I just don't it's not I find Jamaican news very different and I don't keep up with it. Ooh, no. I don't. But what I'm saying is the people leading the charge or whatever for these women are women. Women are passionate about this issue. And so we talk about it. And for you guys to try and take attention away from something we're passionate about because you don't feel like you're getting equal attention feels so it's not insensitive. Equal attention. It's but the that bigger is the picture. approach that you've taken. No, it's the bigger picture. All right, Jay. Let me ask you a question. Guys, stop violence. I absolutely Wait, agree. By the way, stop violence. I'm going to ask you a question, right? Mm. If Jamaica is one of the highest... Yeah. We don't use phones on the podcast. Oh, sorry. If Jimmy and podcast the mic, please, because not, not here. If Jamaica is one of the highest, top top three for the last 20 years mm-hmm. in murders per capita, you don't think said the violence like I reached women and kids? I, I, I don't really understand the purpose of it. I say, if man, if, if the country are one of the most violent countries, okay, right? I Statistically, still- I'm saying. You expect that the violence is not supposed to reach kids. Well, let me explain why. What my... do you mean not supposed? Did who said that, or well, who suggested asking, that, or who implied that? Because when I say when I say when I talk for one specific people, I'm understanding. No, what I'm no, no, so, no, 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 no. Let me DJ my song. Yes, I was answering the question. I was simply answering what you just asked. Answer, answer. I'm simply answering what you asked. Yeah. Nobody is saying it. Like I do. I don't even understand what you just asked because you just said it, it shouldn't reach. May I say? If, if a thousand plus people are dead in our country, you think that a thousand plus people are just be straight, man? But nobody said that. I know. I don't. Nobody said or suggested that. Exactly my that. point. I don't so get why your point. Are we, so why are we not just saying, listen, them people, they are some bad people. And we need to get these bad people out. We need to protect because, the whole okay, country. Can I um, answer? Go ahead. I think the approach to breaking up or not generalizing violence is deeper than simply blame. I think it's a societal, or I don't know, I don't really know, but I'm going to say my perspective. I think it's a societal approach to finding the root of the violence because the fact of the matter is based on the different types of violence that are occurring, there's different reasons that they happen. And by breaking up the types of violence and not simply generalize them, you can get to the root. You can't simply stop violence by saying stop violence. And I'm, now I'm taking the man female out of it. You mm-hmm. just simply cannot stop violence by saying stop violence. It's just, you have to figure out the root so of it. attack. Different sectors you know what of I it, mean? like young so violence, domestic that violence. That would be my approach, okay. or I think that is the approach or the method behind separating them. Mm-hmm. Because you're absolutely right. You said that's always not ever men die a month, right? From a month, but a year. Yeah, a year or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. I'm assuming, or I'm going to say, again, I don't pay attention to news. Majority of them are, some of them are like gun violence cases or crime, mm-hmm. you know? The approach to stopping like gun violence wouldn't necessarily be the approach to stopping gender-based violence. Do you get what I'm saying? So I think it's not necessarily that we're trying to pinpoint this happening to women and females. It's just this type of violence, which is what currently happened. It might, what I think would fit into gender-based violence is currently happening. 
we're addressing this because the root of this is different from when a police officer gets shot or when a gunman or a weed person gets shot. It's not the same thing and it's not that stopping one is not the same way you'd stop another one. Mm-hmm. So even I, I so I agree with you. I just don't necessarily think it's we're looking at it like stop females, you know, say females or outreach were just females. It's like we can't address them the same way. Because um uh, like domestic case happens usually because it's emotional or because somebody was abused and you know things like that yeah. happen but a crime gun case fashion. yeah crimes of fashion but then a gun case would be could be yo somebody i don't know how drug young yeah, you know so it's i get what you're saying and maybe what we do need to do is remove the gender of it or That's the man female so yeah but maybe just all right no i'm gonna explain something to you because mm. you know you're not really in the streets yeah that's you absolutely a fact so let yes. me explain something to you why i must why why i'm probably come off as yo may i say yo una, nah, look out for man Bro, when a man dead fam, and, and, and if I lie, please tell me in my comments. Nobody really cares. First thing they're going to do, they're going to put some false scenario in them head. Yo, in the mix up, you know. Yo, I see that boy there drive him out of nowhere. in my chopper, him at this. When really and truly, that man is an honest man. He make him honest living. Sometimes people will, will like, I know people are dead because they get money. Because they come from the ghetto and they get money and people just kill them and nobody now say, yo, what we do with that country? Are you tell me that people can't successful? Them think they are real things and nobody cares. Enough of them cases are still unsolved to this day. You get me, I try to say? And I'm simply saying that, yo, even, even, w- w- all right, for instance, remember the same saying everybody I talk about, yo, back in my days, pick me and, 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 and kids couldn't that dead. You see me? Which is, is a lie. I've never heard that, but. Okay. Exactly. So if me I lie, tell me in the comments, right? So everything is like man can dead. And then what may I say again to you know, the said video? I say when you kill a man, that's somebody's son. And you're absolutely that's right. That's somebody's father. Have it statistic statistics show you say a father out of the home put that child at disadvantage. You get me what I'm trying to say? So make could try for done the violence because really and truly, if a hundred and twenty, if a hundred and twenty-six woman and, and, and children drop out a year versus one thousand five hundred, how much percentage that? That's less than ten percent. You get me? I say so. When so I say that, no all matter. I'm saying is, when I, say that, no I don't matter, think the know. comparison is necessary. That's my only thing. So I think you can. I think all of your points are valid. I just don't yeah, think okay, you need I'm to sure bring women. Stereo. I don't think you all need right. to bring women into it. I think they can both exist mutually. They're not mutually exclusive. You can address violence in Jamaica and say, "Yo, all of this need for cut out exactly the way you just said it," without saying get why. Happen, you know man. what I mean? That, that's all but, anybody will say. I'm gonna tackle it with the all lives matter thing. It's not the same. Thing. Wait, nah, nah, nah. More getting into this because we know you're gonna come in there. More getting into all that. Wrong with that one, man. So his perspective on it, it. Okay, the reason I said that it's coming across as if it's along the lines of the all lives matter movement is because it's not because statistically women are dying more than men are dying. And I mm-hmm. understand why you think that Black Lives Matter cannot be related to it because disproportionately men, women, I mean, black people are dying whereas white people aren't. Cool. All we are saying, well, I'm not even talking for nobody. All I, mm-hmm. yeah, all sure I, I yeah. I'm saying is you can't, wait, what was I talking about? All Lives Matter. Yeah. Yes. All I was saying is the premise of why you went or the way you went about it is along the lines of the way that all lives, all lives matter movement things, because this we're talking about gender-based violence. We're talking about violence towards women and you have drawn attention away from that and tried to almost say, okay, why are we talking about just women? Let's talk about men as well. And that is what all lives matter happened. Why are we talking about black people? Because but, I think the reason that you're going to say, Tanya, you're wrong is because the stats are in your favor, Black Lives Matter wise. But I'm speaking gender based. I'm not speaking general violence. Mm. So, gender based, women are, it's prevalent for women. I see that too. All right, I see that. Mega, mega, agree with you. When one says stop the violence, this whole gender based thing never depends on my mind. But oh, you don't mean to say, yo, just violence. Is it me? So, I say, if not stop all violence, Yo, the man is my dead boy. Well, that's what I talk about. Like when I'm outraged for a woman, mm-hmm. a woman dying, my issue is gender-based violence and not, not that specific incident, but more gender-based violence in relation to the root of it. So just the way that we look at woman, women that causes them to end up in these scenarios mm-hmm. or for these scenarios to just be happening as often as they're happening. It's not necessarily like my approach to it isn't necessarily just stop the violence. So when I'm talking about Gen- not stop the violence like I, I don't want everyone to stop violence it's more like I'm addressing the root of the issue I'm addressing what's happening to women I'm addressing this why are you trying to draw attention away from that like this mm-hmm. isn't important nobody's saying that's not important 
that's literally what black like like all lives matter is. Yeah, but I'm gonna say no. All right, when when you say that, no, I understand because black lives matter is about police brutality, mm-hmm. which white people never suffer from yeah. police brutality. Same way I say right now, gender based violence, men in Jamaica don't Aren't suffer suffering from it. So I understand all of that. You understand? You're no. looking at it from an just stop oh, the violence. Yeah, okay, yeah. and that can so be. So you see, Matilda, I'm going to come here. I'm willing to change. <laughs> I'm going to change my approach. I have to apologize. I have to offend nobody. No, but, but my I whole think thing you're was, right. But my whole thing was, I'm going to say, for instance, what day? I'm going to see the video where a Chinese man get gunned down. Brutally okay, I get really gunned down. Do not want to. Exactly. I really don't. And nobody is talking about these things. What day? There was like a whole fun day thing. And the amount of shot bus and pit me and get shot. And nobody are. Nobody so talking what do about you these things. So what I'm going to try to say is, you see, you see, with Jamaica, motherfucker, with the world, there's a lot of worlds within the world. You see me? Like yeah. you. You ever run from Shatter? No. You ever see a man and say, yo, that boy that come from round so you know, you know when you bother the line where if you literally put your foot over yourself, a man gonna shoot you? No. You know about, you have to say, yo, stop parry them boy because if you parry them boy, they put me at risk. Like people really see, I'm telling you why I say man I get love too. People will see, the crime rate, and really think that the thousand man them were dead, a thousand man were involved in our things, and that's far from the truth. I don't, yeah, and I think you're right, but I also think you kind of have to just look back at, like, it historically. Mm-hmm. Honestly, Jamaican culture is just a mixture of a bunch of different aspects that we've accepted over years, and it's just become normalized, right? Yes, it's least and, it's, desensitized and to so men we have to... D, what's the word? Denormalize or yeah, yeah. whatever it is. So I think it's really, and I think it's absolutely wrong, but I think Jamaican society just looks at it like men are more involved in violence, more men own guns, and so it's more likely that men, and so we don't get outraged when it happens because we just feel like, you know what, this is normal at this point. Mm-hmm. So we have to get out of that mindset where we think it's normal, and so I think that's where the outrage will come from because outrage really just comes from shock. Yeah. It really just comes from when something isn't happening often or when something is like out of the ordinary. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it's weird. So I feel like because men die so often, it's not mm-hmm. like we're desensitized to it. We're desensitized well, to the gun. Too, well, our next thing, too, I'm glad I said that. And I'm, I go back to the same look of talk and keep on. I met, boy, you're back in a mind, you're pit, you know, woman. That is cap number one. Never did, never as rampant as man. And it never ever be, be that. But mm-hmm. at the same time, what I'm like with Jamaica society, I really truly met. This, this might come off um, rare, but is, is it true? None of these people do not care. They care about the retweets and the clicks. Oh, I agree. You I understand? agree. And it's the just, way that they're dealing with it right now It's just that way. It's us. All right, you see? So like, you want me to tell you something? We're willing to have a conversation about it. And understand, I'm understand why people are outraged now because it's not just violence, it's gender-based violence, but more than understand now. You see me? More than me, just these things. Yo, one of expert, me ask everybody for live good. No, but I would also think it's not fair if someone was just getting up and saying, yo, oh, she did. But this person, not like, I get your perspective yeah, and I so, understand it. So I just think so, we need to separate the two. Yeah, so my answer is, all right, look on evil. I think like Father's Day, bro. Mm-hmm. That's about it. You ever seen man out, out there, so make basket, that boy, your body's for your father. Get someone get tools. Like, man, man, no feel loved. May I be honest with you? Dog get more love than man. And I'm going to, I don't want to disagree. I don't want to disagree with you because you're not wrong, but I'm going to tell you this not from an objective perspective, mm-hmm. from my perspective. You guys don't need any more of a leg up than you already have. Yo, you're respectfully, no, Fear respectfully, the least men need to worry about is being loved because you guys are already ahead of women, ahead of children in every other aspect you of life. You know what you yeah, I mean, when I, I want to be loved, is that really No, I'm not saying, you? did I say that you don't want to be loved? I'm simply least, saying, I feel that's the least you need to worry about because you have everything else. You're me? paid more, Fred. you get more respect. In Jamaica, you can walk down the street without this. Well, not pressing in the safe, that's a lie. I, I was, that, let me scratch that. We die more, without being psst, we commit suicide yeah. more, we have more mental issues. You want to continue? Come uh, on, go ahead. I just feel about. like it's not fair to be like, to make it seem like, Men not being loved or not getting Father's Day baskets is a big issue. Because I just I, if you're gonna talk death and murder, cool, but like not feeling loved, I feel like you guys can go without. Like you guys deserve less, less in my opinion. If, if I'm being honest, people on the ear it. I just okay. It. I just feel like we're spending. Deserve love. I wake up every day and try my best to do my little part in breaking down the patriarchy, mm. which ha- is years and years and years of just men being in control and you know whatever. And my simple my perspective is simply you guys suffering because you're not being loved is not that serious there are other issues that we can talk about if you want to talk about the murder and stuff i'll talk about that but not being loved not being loved so you don't feel like say the murder in where we are do 
and after the way they're not being with, have to do with you not being loved it's about a lot to do okay with. now you're getting into the roof <laughs> now maybe you were talking about fathers so a, you're saying no, me not a, getting my no. father no. basket but just not, but just not, no but seriously think about that though you know think about that because i know your father now your life right mm-hmm. your father provide protect everything daddy once you know once you know once you know one corner a daddy you call and my father even though he pays for them gets very cute father's day gifts as i say <laughs> but the average man now Ray, is it me okay. all right next thing too next thing too i never did like with the comments them mm-hmm. ladies you don't need to stop you sign language when you're not trying to get to no point what do you mean shame insult guilt and the need to be right you don't need to stop because the amount of people call my body man and tell me something mm. like woman I agree. The way no, that no. you guys approach telling people you don't agree with like, them is disgusting. Oh. It's disgusting. You can disagree and with I someone think, without disrespecting them. And next thing too, must see one look a trend while girl. Oh, men, men don't really like women. They're just sexually attracted oh, to women. I agree women. with that. That is dumb to say. How is that dumb? It's a it fact. Is, it is called sexual orientation for a reason. Oh my gosh. You know, you can have sex with someone and not be emotionally attracted to them or you're attracted to them as a human and being. And I never said no, but heterosexual is what? A sexual orientation. So I'm still a heterosexual yes, man. what people are saying. Yeah, so that is what they're saying. They're saying men are sexually attracted to females, but not emotionally and intelligently attracted to females. That's what they're trying to say. They're just not saying it the way that you're understanding. What am I saying? We're a batty man? No. They're, they're, that's, that's what they, that Okay, well, I don't think they're trying to say you're a batty bat. I don't like I that word. I woman. really don't like that I word. I just for women too. What do you mean? Women love, women love them friends more than them love them, man. No, 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 no. I don't think that's what they're trying to say. In terms of, I think what they're trying to say, and again, I cannot speak for anyone. I'm going to mm-hmm. say what I understand from it. I think what they're trying to say is men will claim that they love women, but you guys only love the pleasure that you can gain or what you gain from women. You aren't returning the respect that's necessary for you to love women, the respect, the emotional intelligence, the, that you don't care about the well-being of women or your woman. So you really- care about how a woman pleases you, how a woman is interact with your life. That's what people, when they say that you guys don't love women, they're not saying, oh no, I'm back to man. We're literally, we understand that you guys are sexually attracted to us. That's all that we hear all the time, every single day. We get it. We know that you want to have sex with women. We get it. Mm-hmm. But loving a woman is so much more than being sexually attracted to her and we're saying that men care more about the well-being of men than the well-being of women even though they claim that they I love women i don't agree but well, what i, I can mean, say though what i can say if all uh, any any woman out there once you're an adult if you think all i want to want from you is sex that's all you have to offer and no nobody not telling them something about I uncle don't jay agree. uncle jay will tell her because what will not tell me say no you know DJ song, no? Oh, sorry. i don't want collab <laughs> what y'all tell me say me go so boom. Guess what? First thing me want is sex. That's facts. Let's get, let's get out of the way so we can see if there is more to that. And so me go so boom now. Have well, the sex. School. Then me realize, say, yo, that girl here is smart. Me realize that, that girl here she, she, she know how to manage money. She put me up on some game. That girl here nurturing. She makes sure she, she, she press. She, you know what is like? Man, not used to not you know. Like people not understand that like, man. Clearly. You know, you know what? Man never get a gift in them life. A gift. So when you come sit on your buy me one pair of Air Force, I love you for life. But you really feel say, all, all me want from you is sex because that's all you have to offer. Once a man knows that girl I have more for offer, he's sticking around. He's um, sticking around. And that's fact. Nobody said that that wasn't the case. I'm, okay, first of all, I want to approach it from two different perspectives. One, I think it depends on the timing. Mm-hmm. So just like you said, um, you said after that you want sex. The first thing you're thinking about is sex, which is fine. I Naturally. think to each their own. I think to each their own. Naturally. To me, I don't... I think approaching sex too early on into an interaction or a female male situation comes across like you're only interested in sex. And I think that's where a lot of perspective comes from. So you're speaking from the perspective of you've already slept with someone and all they want from you at that point is sex. Then I can understand what you're saying. I think it's, if we're getting to know each other and the fact that we're not sexual in the in intimacy in the beginning or you are continuously talking about sex or you're not interested in getting to know anything else or doing anything else it does come across like you're only sexually interested in man I, that is my perspective when but i see a man is only but doesn't even get that out of the way you gotta, okay no way. but that's not how i am i i will not sleep with you until we've been dating for like three months that and that's just me my other perspective what on it is, for you? oh pretty good i'm pretty good where are niggas be waiting <laughs> yeah well where? the ones that want to wait where? okay uh, it's and just then exclusively I don't, that's between, as far as they, that's okay. what they tell okay. me. Okay. I'm not gonna, okay. don't, 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 don't question it, don't question it. That's, that's you man. your mind when you question it, don't don't question it. For man. But I'll, again, um, I want to approach it from another scenario where what he said, 
there are men that will stick around. No one is questioning that they'll stick around, mm -hmm. despite the fact that when, like, I've had men, I have a lot to offer from my perspective. Um, and I've had men that stick around and sticking around doesn't necessarily mean that they're not interested in just the sex. I think when people, when females say the man is just interested in the sex, even if he sticks around and comes and watches Netflix or them joke around or they with me and he's not willing to settle down with me. He's only interested in the sexual aspect of the, or of the relationship. And that isn't okay. Whether or not he's here for a long period and we interact in other ways, he isn't, it hasn't stepped from sexual to becoming something because mm. he's only there for the sex or he's only interested in the sex. So it's not that they're saying, Oh, him only one before. And that's not all they have to offer. It's really, you're not here for, you're here because you get in sex no, plus. You no, get me? That's, no, that's why I'm, I'm here for the sex. But I'm saying if there's more there, I'm here for that as well. But that's what, that's not what comes across to us. Okay. But question though, why, why wanna hate men? Because I've seen enough women I run this narrative say man hate women and I've never seen a video I say, I know, before I go to that, we don't need a woman need a spokesperson. Where we don't say, listen, Beyonce. our girl that, whatever she say, that we are working with. You're going to like with Uno now. When we say, right, then, we're going to listen to what Jay Frey say. Them subscribe to me. Yo, we are working with Jay Frey Motive. We are working with Kevin Samuels. We are working with Andrew Tate. Uno, you're out Uno work. Beyonce say, yo, if you ain't putting a ring on it, leave. Uno take that. But Beyonce also could have said, yo, if your nigga broke, Keep him. When I say, here what Beyonce, you lost me this saying, but we all keep this yes. So. Then when I go over to city girls, and city girls say, yo, nigga gotta spend a bag. When I keep that, but city because girls. Because we're all human. We're not gonna agree with every single no, thing every person, person says. No. You know how I'm gonna say that though? Just like I can watch your content and agree with, I agree with a lot of things that you say, but there are things that you said that I don't agree with. And so I'm going to take, when I talk about you or when I'm making reference to you or I want, or something that you've said, fits into my argument, I'm going to talk about it. But mm -hmm. not everything you say is going to fit into how, what I believe. I understand, but I still need somebody who can say that's the reputation of how women I think nowadays. I think women are too emotional for that because, like, I just think women are too emotional All right, for that. All right, for instance, what do you, a girl, me and a girl that will I, I, I read the reasoning, right? And she said, every man where love talk about women want them for money and thing, it kind of contradict him because they approach with money. The first DM is, yo, which bill you want to pay? I mean, I say, well, you can't say that is, is, is contradicting, yes, because at them still are, but at the same time, the message, because to be honest, we, and if may, if may I lie, tell me, for spokespeople, a Jada Wader, Ari Fletcher. I don't even know who Jada Wader is. The City Girls, you know, Cardi B. And all of them women here promote man and give woman money. You so know, now, I think about it now. To, uh, just to be, be clear, I don't listen to any of those people. I don't even know. I only know who Cardi B is. All right. <laughs> so cool now. So imagine now we did it and every time Jada way that they post something and they post a new truck or oh my man give me this and leave broke niggas alone. When me get money now, me I feel like say yo, my up. Me I chat in video. You ever see the girls in post, yo, niggas be so mad when they have money and you still don't want them? Um, yes. Why? Why, why you feel mad? Because yo, my rich now, why you give me a chat in? Why you mean my have style too? Okay. Like... What do you mean? Yes, you have to have style. Never say nay, no, but I'm trying to say nobody went. The names that I'm call a while ago, uh, the, they don't mention yeah, that. Yeah, okay, you're absolutely They right. just mention you. I don't agree with that perspective. I do, I do agree that a man should have money, but the perspective that just having money or the fact that the media feels like just having money is it is absolute That's what garbage. That's coming off. And as. the fact of the matter is, girls, the girls that show their lavish lives and say that they're just there for the money, they're lying. If, or if they are just there for the money, they. I must be very honest. They're doing some weird things for the, you get, or they, they, mm. they aren't happy, right? Because the fact of the matter is, no matter what the media is saying, just having money is not gonna suffice anyone, right? But it just happens that everybody wants to have the Instagram to be taking the hotel trips to be doing, and so when you have money, we, we expect to have money. I do think a man should always have money, but I think that's just. The like that's almost like the groundwork. Like it cannot just be you have money. And I don't think that just doesn't make any sense to me. Mm. I but I do think that the role models that are currently running female media are not it. I think that perspective is severely flawed. But I do think you guys believing it is also dumb or feeling like just because you have money. Like you feel what kind of woman would you want to 
tie down that is only interested in you because you have money. Like that feels like a man. That's just a game. Yeah, I know. Like, but you as a man, why would you want to accept that? You as a man, why would you be okay with being in a relationship right. with someone that is just there for all your right, money? Here what? Um, two reasons. Number one, the honesty. Oh, I feel him. A man love honesty. If a girl can't make it no straight, say, listen, I'm just here because uh, you you got the bag. I'll grow like women right now. They let you know I'm gonna be with a nigga who I don't like who got money. Why? I never. <coughs> I, I never. My understand. God, take time with her, I'm father. Yeah. A man we go so boom, and no, a girl we there with a man right now have money, and she tell herself so she'll grow for love him. Can really and truly, love love to me is just like being around somebody for long periods of time. You know? No. And then eventually just like them like that. Worse if there's worse if there was little to something there, it will grow. It will grow. I've tried that and it never grows for me, no matter how much I try. So I don't know if that's the case for other females. And mm. if that's the case, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But I do think seeking a man just because he has money, um, cutting off other potentials because this person has more money, I feel like that's very vain and But how important is money though? Is the deal well, breaker? I think it depends on the stage of life you're at. True. It definitely just has to, because teenage me covering my TGI bill was impressive, right? Yeah. I'm 25 now. If I'm, if I am interested in a man, I'm looking to settle down or to whatever. And so him having money to me isn't necessarily flashy. It's being able to, things like I like to travel. When I want to travel, is he going to be able to, you know, even if he's a, I'm paying for my own flight, is he going to be able to come? Mm. Is he financially well off? Where does he live by himself? Little things like that are what I mean when I say, does he have money? Or even when I say spoil, it's, it's, is he financially well off enough to be able to make me feel a certain way about, it doesn't necessarily mean fly me to freaking Bali, right? I think that is the extended approach or the disgusting approach where it means for fly my hair, do me this, pay for my hair, pay for my nails. Mm. That is what I don't necessarily agree It's unrealistic as That well. is unrealistic and it's not fair to men, if I'm being very honest. It's just not Whoa, fair to look men. look at that. If you can't take care of yourself, Honey, I say it's just not, not yeah, that's just not God, fair man. to men in my personal opinion. I do think men should be chivalrous and I do think a man paying for your hair and your nails and stuff like that isn't outrageous, but I don't think it should be expected that he has to do this or because it is his money especially early on really. especially the early on stage. i don't think so i think like spoiling to me is early in early stages is buying me food right a man or like if he wants to take a weekend vacation cool but i think the pressure of hotel every weekend hair nails weave carnival costume that's that is jada Wader. That is them putting that out there. And the fact of the matter is the people honestly living those lives in Jamaica, not living them, they're not enjoying themselves. They might do some things where I personally don't think is worth it just because the mm -hmm. man have money. Cause the men in Jamaica that have money, I'm really sorry, they're weird. Them them into weird things. Because mm. a lot of them what approach of weird no things? them into some very yeah, weird things. No, I'm not really yeah, wanna look. <laughs> what kind of weird they're things? just into some weird stuff. God, damn. They're into myself, some weird. I can't cut myself. Um this hate hatred for men these days. I'm not like it. I'm seeing more and more tweets. I hate man. Yo, why man I breed? And sometimes it might be a little jokey joke, but there's some seriousness behind this. What kind of seriousness? I feel like I'm not really hate man. I feel like uno are really the, the people who are just sexually attracted to men. And then no no. I'm not really emotionally attracted. That's me. I am sexually attracted to men and not to Yeah. <laughs> I realized that. I was like, <laughs> like I'm, I'm, I've never seen a video from a man I say, I'm an eight woman. A man who said, woman wicked, woman a liar, woman this and that. But I never seen no man say them That's just hate women woman. are emotional. We speak more emotionally. It's not necessarily like a, like I'll say I hate men. No, I really do. Um, so you think, you think men are being respected these days? I think, the disrespect, I think the disrespect that men receive from women is usually reciprocated. I don't think it's just off the bat and for no reason, if that's what you're asking. Uh, so no, I don't think men are being respected, but I think there's a reason men aren't being, aren't being respected. I think it's a reaction. I think it's reactionary. Mm. And if even if it's not necessarily in the moment reactionary, it's things like... Over time. It's things like... It, okay, someone will stop me on the roadside, especially nowadays because I'm town travels and everybody sees me on the road and says hi. And I love when you guys do that. Don't ever stop. But having grown up in society where every time someone stops me, it's usually some grammy man trying to like be sexual with me or touch me. I my first reaction is disrespect. It really is, even though that's not my intention. But it's just reactionary because when you grow up in a society where you're not respected just because you're a woman, where literally people feel that like they can touch you just because, or you, because you're just a certain way, or because you're a, especially me because I'm so open about myself. Like I'll post topless pictures or. I'm so people think they know me and so they 
are always up in my space, touching me, feeling that them can say certain things, behave a certain way. And I just react now because that's what I was raised in. Like I said, it's a desensitized thing. So we have to get into the root of all these issues and find ways to stop making it normal. It's not normal. It's not okay. So you're right. Saying we hate men is not okay. But for me, it's it, it's but almost, me, I'm, I'm it's almost you, a trauma response. I, I, I mean, honest with you, I'm going to talk to my peers and... Look, I, back to what you say, you say, man, should I worry about love? But, <laughs> but, but you see, you see, you see, our next thing too, you know, like you say, yo, man get more pay, and that's not the majority, you know, because if if, if a man not want to work at call center, the same pay, okay, we're not talking about that call center. We're that speaking. Man, I say, you talk about a very, very small, small few. So you don't think men are treated better in Jamaica? I think, you know, I think it's a double standards in a, in a, in a, in a the world. And me personally, I'm for a double standards because it bring equal, um, it bring equity. Okay. You feel me? Because I think about it now, just like, don't get me wrong, that's a man a problem with the woman, they must say, yo, Ray, yo, gender, this and whatever. That's why when you break it down to me, I say, yo, it's not just violence. We are talking about a specific type of violence. But I say, oh shit. Okay. All right, me take what I see. Because naturally, man's stronger than woman. Carry on, if woman if woman could have beat man, on a beat with you. Oh, for sure, one hundred percent. You understand? But 100%. naturally, we stronger, you see me? So that bias there, half a day. You get me? I say. And then now when you look upon even man, I get more money. You remember? I said them something they come from patriarch days when man used to used to pay most of Be the, the breadwinner. I agree. So I understand. So, and that's so what we're trying to that debunk. Too. But that's what we're trying to debunk because that uh, that's exactly what we're trying to debunk. And that's I'm the so fact that that's normal. Person. Yeah, yeah, but why not? Man, man, I know what we tell you. Man, I know what we tell you. We don't want independent, but we don't want a man pay the bills. Or not even. Oh no. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Can I explain though? Like my perspective is, I'd like to be making my own money, but. But if I'm in a relationship, if I'm married, the man is covering majority of the bills. That is literally the society that you guys set up for yourselves. Did and he? when I say men get paid more or whatever, I'm also talking about things like a man will more likely get a job that I'm qualified for than I will. And that's just the fact of the matter. In corporate, a man is more likely to get the job. And I, it's, just, it's not like I'm not saying it's like society is it more efficient? I, I don't know the stats. I don't know why. Men okay. Men. I can't compare that. No, 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 you don't. But I, 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 I was not saying that Jamaica, that I don't, I don't think Jamaica is, is, is what's the word I'm looking for? Sorry. Blatantly like preferring females. I think it's just small issues and small interactions where the cases are seen. And you're right. It's just, again, everything just needs to be debunked. We just need to find the root and figure out how to address all of it. Yeah, I'm going to say, we going to feel we as men right now, but the confusion I'm going is that we don't know what I really want. You see me? Because think about it again. It's all equality thing, right? Mm-hmm. Equality does not make sense at all. Especially for women. For women, ask equality is madness. Maybe honest with you. For women, ask for equality yeah, is me. absolute madness. We don't need to say, listen, we want equality in a this, 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 this. But when you generalize that, so we don't want equality, that's stupid. Okay. You don't think that's stupid? I don't think it's stupid. I think it's unrealistic. There we go. Better word. I think it's unrealistic for sure. And I think... If some approach can't wrong sometimes, if someone says stupid, somebody might feel offended, right? <laughs> when you say, so you say, I have a stupid me sometimes, you know? Okay, I see. I'm not trying to offend you, you know, but that's the first it's word. It's the way he talks. Yeah. It's the way he talks. You know what? Yeah, I love you, you know? Remember, I only said Jeffrey, and Jeffrey said, you know? As me, I say. I think it's unrealistic. And I think... A lot of it is emotion based mm-hmm. and not practical, right? So, women are very emotional creatures. And so, I think a lot of the approach towards feminism, in theory, makes sense. Like, yes, men and women should be equal, but the emotional and practicality of equality just doesn't equate well, to what women actually want. Feminism never started from that, though. It was about us having a choice. It was never about equality. Okay, then I mean, I didn't, I didn't, okay, I then I threw that in there wrong. What's yeah, I was I didn't, basically trying to say? Some other woman come who literally hate man, like really just hate man, and that's why I mess up my Twitter, you know. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know I much about me, you know. feminism. If they I'm going to be them, I don't like them, you know. Them hate me to trust no. me. No, <laughs> no, but more sure you them corrupt. They might use you last night. Shut up. Oh, I me. saw it. Someone tweeted. Someone was like, it's Tom Chavez putting him up to this. I was like, 
No, like, no, 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 I mean, start is for have conversations. Like when I started it, you feel like a joke on the iron. I'm not gonna apologize at the end of this because I'm see where it come from now. The outrage really I come from now. I know me, I understand it. I'm all for conversations. And this will never and I be think about that's what people don't understand though. Because it's the same thing with me. Whenever I talk, I state something because of the way that I talk, they get very immediately. Mm. And no one is ever willing to have a conversation about it. And the thing is, we're not even really active on Twitter, and they'll jump on Twitter and have the conversation yes. with themselves. And with that's them. the killer. It's like hey. convincing people that agree with you does nothing. Like we are the ones that don't have the stance. Why not convince us? Like, let's talk. But you guys jump to Twitter where you know we're not seeing the tweets and you're we're like. I don't like, put I don't Because I disagreed with Jay yesterday. I made the stitch, but me and Jay had a conversation about it and are now having a conversation. And I still, whether or not he changed his perspective, I would not, it would not have been an aggressive me, even interaction. Even when, even when I text myself, me will agree for this, agree. Yeah, like, the, but Twitter people, Una just. No, because everyone know, I'm going to tell you how Twitter works. I'm going to tell you. See, if you follow them up, all right, listen, like for instance, what I'm going to say, I understand how it might come off insensitive now and based on the, 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 Actual thing we want to is not just violence. We want to kind of put it down, you know, and marginalize it. Understand that now. But here with them, what I do know. So you start replying, you reply so much till you actually chat for free. No, true. I had to stop. Like, yeah, I re- I once realize... you start reply to them, you end up chat for free. I'm stop. not replying to them, you know, niggas. Thank you. Because when I don't like my shit, them, when I watch my shit, them, and I love. Yeah, and also. One girl go out her way. I don't have, really have to reply to she. Sometimes you really do have to, like, when it's, cons- like, it's consistent foolishness. No, you, you have to respond. You know? Remember, you know. I'm going to read her thing. I'm going to tell life on people, you know. What she said? I'm going to tell life on people. I tell, she my phone up my earpiece, but I can't bother. I will, right, however, anyway, say. I she will. share it. Mm-hmm. Wait, I'm sorry for that. She share it. Yo, I can't believe this guy get up and post this. Oh, my God. Blah, say, blah. Yo. Yo, I used to watch him, Tim. I used to like him. I forgot to unfollow him on Ray and Ray. So, I said, someone, look. She's never once tagged me in anything. I said, I mention you and mm-hmm. whatever. Not me never get a oh big fan, but as something negative mm-hmm. you want for you could have posted without you tag me in the fuckery. Me say bitch, me not care. Black you for black me. I will say, I D- will don't, say. Don't 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 no. Me not need no support, bro. If you yeah. can't if you can't DM me and say Jay, come on, me a big fan. This is where you go. I can up to now. She not say Ray, and then our next post them at all. But me no want nobody agree with him because regardless, you know. Enough man to get to me, I say. Enough people, enough woman get to me, I say, too. It what was I a will very say, yes, you're absolutely right. And what I will say is what I don't agree with seeing is when they disagree with you and take it upon themselves to try and convince the people that agree with you that you're wrong. And then, why can't and you leave this alone? When them whole them grown, it depends, oh, you're a pick me. No. People I will not different say, opinions. I understand the outrage towards what Jay posted yesterday, but I will say the need for you guys, so there will be in your comments replying to every single person that agrees with you. They say, Sign no, language. he's wrong. No, he's wrong. No. And Sign it's like, language. you There's guys can disagree with someone's perspective, Please. no matter oh, how yeah. vulgar they came across, without attacking it the way that you attack it. And the, and the fact of the matter is, the worst thing you could do on TikTok especially is do that with me or Jay's content. Because once you comment something negative, our content is on your page for the rest, on your 40 page for the rest of your Life. We're literally oh, gonna, I'm not, I mine, we're mine at least. Uh, I'm not asking you. if you hate that. me. If you hate me and you comment under my post because of the way I don't know what going on with my Jamaican TikTok and me, I'm even if you click not, not interested. I had my sister test it out the other day, literally. Like I will be on your for you page. You click not not interested, I'll be on your for you page. If you're if you interact with my content, Word. so if you hate me, and you don't want to see it. Better on the scroll. Like if you or go back, go on Twitter and continue. But I can't agree with you being in the comments trying to convince other people to take your side, right? And then using unfollowing or blocking us as a threat. I'm going to be very honest with you. I don't want to sound disgusting or Say, anything. We don't see when you unblock when you unfollow us. Don't care. We don't care. My numbers not has, even a little bit. My numbers has never dropped. I'm not saying no, that. Never yet not, see a K. One of the K them drop off yeah, after I, somebody I'm, said them block me. I'm not, I'm not say it as like, yo. In a but, cocky way. But, no. Yeah, but me I try to say, if you want to really have fun of me, I'm going to do something more fun. You know. DM me. To one us. thing in me, I'm going to respond when people say, Jay, come on, I'm a loser for you. Because I never, never, ever, ever, ever sit up, record myself for this purposely insult somebody. Me's a man, naturally, me I gotta look into everything, you see me? And say, even before me do the video, I say, you know, say, trust me, there was multiple takes to that video. Come there, I try my best. 
not to insult anybody. And then at the same time, rest in peace, um, sick. I know her. Personally, I don't agree with no body, body, but if I see her, I'm not walk past her, I'm going to eat her, I'm going to go on there, good. Oh, yeah. when I go, I'm there for a minute. Ray and Tay, last time I see her was Monday. When I get that news there, I have somebody that I cuss off. I don't have a customer. It, it shaped me up, bro, because there's somebody who must sit in the space. Every time I go out, they go out five times a week, I see her four. You see me? So it was never nothing towards that. But I see it and I see how people, it's like, when I see me, I see people never realize that, like, this happened, like, Every single day at Jamaica, that was my first initial thing. Like, it wasn't about, yo, let's change. It was like, yo, we're living now in a very, very bad country. It's just that with Jamaica, you have some people who never hear a gunshot yet. I think I'm, what I will say, playing devil's advocate, mm-hmm. I think they approach us sometimes, and I don't think it's necessarily right, because tit, tit for tat is never right. But I think because sometimes we don't necessarily say things the way we intend for them to come across, they perceive it aggressively and then return aggressively. So maybe it's a give and take. If, if you guys, I don't know, comment if that's, what, if that's the case. Because I, I think me and Jay's perspective a lot of the times are not even on this particular topic, just different topics. Because I've had a lot of people come to my DMs and be like, Tony, I think you should delete this. I don't. Or even with like the Danny Rooks thing, things like people would be like, Tony, I don't really read. That came across very bad, man. And I will, you'll check my TikTok and I'll have deleted something. Because I agree with you guys and I will, you know? But I do think you guys have to understand that we just, this is our personalities. This is I speak very. I don't know. I'm not gonna talk for Jay. I speak very passionately about things that, and I only talk on things I'm passionate about. If I don't mm-hmm. care, I will think about it. But that doesn't mean I'm not open to the interpretation. So again, it's just maybe getting that, them to understand that. But what I will say, can I just add something to the Slicky Anna? Mm-hmm. I did not know her, and I just really want to say this because it's. I've been seeing a lot of it. Um, I did not know her. I didn't know her as an influence. I didn't know her as a person. I only saw interacted with her socials once finding out what happened. But the perspective that social media has right now that because people didn't know her, she was not an influencer and you guys attacking her in... No, but you guys attacking her in death Crazy. and tearing her apart ridiculous i had to respond to someone that tweeted something about lines uh, along the lines of oh r.i.p to her but you guys need to be careful with this influence that they're throwing around because who the hell is she oh, like, what is she influencing me with her flat with her um back to outer job what does that have to do with her being dead she in she in influ- uh, look at her stats she influenced other people it has nothing to do with that, you that, and that, what that, you that perceive was a woman, right? no that's a man that's a man i literally so, messaged so, him i was like you need to delete this this is disrespect this is in how should i influence him I don't mm. even know. But the fact of the matter is whether or not you knew who she is, people are mourning and you guys are disgusting. It's getting and out of and, hand and at and this she, point. And she, and she was a mother at the same time. She was a daughter. Leave everything. her alone. Whether or not she influenced you or you understand what people saw in her as an influencer is not your business. Make people mourn. Or they need to stop running to Twitter with disgustingness but just forget the likes. It's not cute. It's not cute. And there's one more thing I want to add because you already you also mentioned this. When um we respond to people, I realized my cousin came to me the other day about this. Apparently, when we respond to people, they feel very important. Yeah. I did not realize that. Um, I had responded to someone that said that my mouth is bigger than my body. And apparently she was at camp with my cousin talking about how time travels this and she, she, this time travels and whatever. And my cousin asked me about it. And I was like, I do not know who that person is, what you're talking about. We don't know. But I'm going to say I'm gonna say to you, remember when you say to you already, like face to face our on our platform, I'm going to say, yo, that culture, they start from like, like the real celebrities where they may have 5,000 comments. Like Nicki Minaj have 5,000 comments and somebody says, your Cardi B is better and she replied to that one. So now me as a fan, I just want to get that knowledge. Yeah. By Nicki Minaj. I'm not gonna write me a fuck right now. Because guess what? You skip over the 5,000. I love you. I'm a barb. Barbs for life. For go mention, for go reply to the that's hate. That's like when men are like, <laughs> that's like, that's like when I'm men gonna, are, there are 10, there are 10 girls in your, in your, there are 10 guys in your phone now. Why would I be 11? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. T- 10 guys trying to fix the problem. Yeah, I'm gonna like, be the I'm problem. Gonna be the problem. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, but I just don't think that approach is like necessary if you really have a problem with our content like let's talk and the and next thing to you have to understand some some people just not just not no want to be pleased bro that's some true. people don't want to come to no farmer medium for say alright then I understand your stand, but this is still my stance. It's they true. don't want that. This bro. girl made a TikTok the other day. I was literally just trying to talk to her about like her approach to talking about racism in Jamaica. And she like, she literally responds to my comments and she's like, I want to be ignorant. Okay. I'm, I'm ignorant. I want, and I'm like, the heck? I'm like, the fact that you are willing to sit down on the internet and say, you know what? I'm dumb. Leave me. Let me be dumb. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. But listen, man, it's a toxic talk. See, you so can I have an actual conversation. You see? <laughs> 
it not hard because people really feel like say, I'm one of those. I always have to be right person. I'm not, Same. bro. I am not. And I, I like that we did this so they could say that both of us can be. We're not. You see me? People. I am not. So I will say, I apologize if I offended anyone. My whole, my whole intention was that, yo, listen, Jamaica is, is it, it, we're, we're doing it when it comes down to the numbers in crime. I'm going to want to do we it. We are. I agree. You see me? You, you never have nothing to do with your man. I get this or um, man. I get that. It was more of yo. We have a problem at hand. No, if 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 it was stop domestic violence, with me as a big crusty man, when when no um, man can really beat up, unless I probably Sherry Kajaks because Sherry Kajaks could have beat me up, <laughs> right? I come in upon that far. But enough, you understand? So me when I say, when I say violence, I take it as yo violence. When I real when I really know what violence is. You see me? And we, we want to forget to a place where it's not going to be perfect. But the YouTube is not going to happen. Hopefully. God's willing. It's not happening as badly as, as much. But this, the, what are the numbers? We're competing in the world for the worst country. Yeah, though. it's out of hand. It's getting out of hand. And we do need to find like root causes. And I just think that's what breaking down the violence does. It helps us figure out what's causing this particular violence and address that. And I think that's what the government was doing with trying to ban the music. I don't think it was the right approach, but mm-hmm. I think that's what they were trying that to do. So, something. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll figure it out, guys. So, All of us collectively. Big up to Tans again. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. Is it me? Remember, like, share, subscribe, and watch. Rest in peace. To slick Yana. Rest in peace. And rest in peace to any woman who get affected by any woman, any gender man, bias, violence. Gender based violence. Gender based, sorry. And any man that has died recently that hasn't gotten any attention, I do want us to, mm-hmm. you know what? And the next thing to more for say, even if they're quote unquote involved in gang activity, doesn't mean their death doesn't matter. I it's agree. It's not even saying that no matter, we need to understand say, yo, What's the one next world podcast? But when yeah. you understand, say, it's, it's deeper than just being in a gang. I'm telling you. Oh, that sounds but like no, a whole different topic. Yeah, I, I, yeah. So we're not getting to that right now. Uh, documentary will come very, very soon. Right. Documentary. Look out. <laughs> <We're gone. laughs>